Hey there guys, the Fusion Duck here with another video, and, um, this video, um, I'm, first off, I want to apologize, uh, I haven't, well, I posted last week, but, uh, I kind of couldn't keep my word by saying, oh, I'm gonna be frequent and stuff like that, cause I'm not, cause, you know, what I mentioned about my update video about, you know, having free time and having limited free time, and, you know, with my limited free time, I don't want to spend that time making videos. Even though making videos is a hobby, I don't make money off this, I just do this as a hobby. So, anyways, um, I'm going to make a Fusion Fall My Story video, because I seem to be getting a lot of good feedback for the Toontown My Story, you know. If you guys didn't watch that, and if you guys don't know what it is, it was basically me just explaining, you know, how I came with Toontown, you know. Uh, you know, how I discovered it, and, you know, yeah. So, um, I want to get started with my Fusion Fall story. And this is definitely not going to be as long as my Toontown story because I didn't play Fusion Fall as long as I played Toontown, but I did enjoy, I did have more of a fun experience when playing to Fusion Fall over Toontown. So, yeah, let's get started. Uh, and just, uh, to keep you guys, just to let you guys know, uh, this isn't scripted, I didn't, you know, like, like, like I said, I do this as a hobby, I don't do this as, like, a job, like, people like McJugger Nuggets, uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, personally, I think he's a lazy bastard, but, I mean, other people think otherwise, but, I, yeah, his videos are entertaining, but I think he's, there's gotta be some fake in it, that's all I gotta say. I'm not trying to start up a war or anything, but that's just my personal opinion. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so, it all started back in 2011, I believe. Yes, 2011. 2011 was a great year. Um, I was playing Toon 10 online, and 2011 was around the year where, you know, I was kind of getting bored... You know, I kind of discovered tedious, what tedious was, and, you know, that Toontown was pretty much the definition of tedious, and I was starting to, you know, kind of drift off, so, you know, I wasn't a, a huge PC gamer back then, like, and by that, I mean I didn't have a Steam account, if you don't have a Steam account, you're not a PC gamer, let's just be honest here, okay, so, I wasn't entirely a PC game. the only reason why I was on PC was because I was playing Toontown Online, but... It was around when I was getting bored of Toontown Online. I was trying to look for other MMOs because, you know, I finally found out what Toontown was. It was an MMO, and I just kept searching out cool MMOs to play. And uh, one of them was Fusion Fall, uh, Cartoon Network Universe Fusion Fall. So I had a whole, I had a great time playing Fusion Fall. But um, the problem with Fusion Fall was, at the time, it was like, uh... It was around the era where it was like old Fusion Fall, like the future, and then it was just transitioning into the the uh, the academy. So it was kind of it was kind of buggy. It crashed a lot, and it always made me super mad. I remember rapidly kick clicking my mouse because it wouldn't load whenever I loaded up the screen. So yeah, um, it all started when my friend. Uh, he was he was a pretty cool dude. His name was Rudra, and he he was like, "Oh, dude, you gotta try this game out. It's pretty cool." So I was like, "All right, I'll try this game out." I tried it out, and I didn't like it. This is just like the Toon Ten Online thing. I thought it was just it just didn't seem like a cool game. And then about well, the thing was, I was more of like I was more forgiven with Fusion Fall with how it looked. Because I saw a lot of pictures and I thought it looked I thought it looked really cool, but it just wasn't me. The tutorial it just I, it just didn't seem right, you know. Like I feel like if it was the future tutorial instead of the academy tutorial, I would have probably enjoyed it a lot better. But anyways, uh, same thing happened. I was watching Cartoon Network and that ad comes up, <laughs> you know. Uh, that really, really cool ad, you know, they always end up coming up with really, really cool ads, and that's what I probably enjoy the most about, you know, these MMOs. Like, Pirate 101 has a cool ad, too, but anyways, um, so I started playing it again, and once I did start playing, of course, my brother started playing, like, it, you know, he got me into Toontown Line, I pretty much got him into Fusion Fall, because, you know, I mean, it was fun, me and him had different, two different computers, so we could meet up and talk, and do ta task there, and it was really, really fun, so, basically, um, what happened was, 
as I started drifting away from Toontown, I started getting addicted to Fusion Fall more and more and more. So it was a point where I was only playing Toontown like five minutes a day just to check my update status, check who's on and stuff. And in Fusion Fall, I would just be on the whole day. But, you know, it was school, so I couldn't get on as much as I wanted to, but I did, with my free time, I did use that against Fusion Fall. So, um, after that, uh, I got to... I did not get far in Fusion Fall, that's why I will tell you. I got, the max level was level 36, I got to level 16. Yeah, uh, I always had trouble, I, with reading things, like, I, I always, I, it's, it's not that I was a bad reader, I just, I wasn't, I didn't really read things, you know, I just did them. It's pretty much the saying, like, you don't think, you just do. I, I kind of never read it, or read it, I just did it, so... Yeah, um, so basically what happened was I was having a lot of fun with the game, uh, and a lot, of, like, unlike Toontown Online, they were constantly updating things, you know, constant bug fixes, constant that. Toontown, it was like, oh, you know, three months, uh, later, they, they finally decided to do something, and then, like, a year later, oh, yeah, we'll do this, and, yeah, so, anyways, what happened was I was... Like, uh, it was around 2013 now, and, uh, I go to the Cartoon Network website, cause, uh, that's the, that's the what I hated about Fusion Fall, you had to go to, like, a website to play it, and Toontown Online, you could just use an installer, so I went on the website, and it was like, attention, we're closing Fusion Fall, you know, there was even a point in time, I think, like, just to get kind of off topic a bit, there was a point in time where I believed that, like, you needed, uh, a membership, like, Toontown Online, uh, required you needed a membership to get far in the game um i never remember buying membership for some reason like i don't even think i ever had membership but i somehow advanced through the game i don't i think there was a point in time where membership was a thin but they canceled it because you know they weren't getting money off of it or something and they just wanted it to be free so yeah um what happened was uh you know, they announced they were shutting down, and unlike Toontown Online, I, I cried over Fusion Fall, because, believe it or not, in Toontown, I didn't have much friends in Toontown Online, you know, I was kind of a loner, in Fusion Fall, a lot of good people opened out to me, and a lot of good people, you know, helped me with my task, and I even got some of their Skypes, believe it or not, so, I see Fusion Fall Legacy, and the website looks super, super promising to me, like, like, the Fuse Fall Resurrection website was kind of iffy. I mean, there was a few things here and there, but it was alright. Legacy's website was just so good. It just, it blended in with the game, you know? It was just so, 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 so good. And, you know, um, so I had a lot of fun with that, you know? I had a lot of fun looking at the forums, uh, checking the dev blogs, you know, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. And then they shut down randomly. They They just... They just disappeared. They were gone. And I was like, okay, that's a bit weird. And then I got even more upset. I think I shed a tear that day, too. <laughs> but anyways, then even six months later, they come out with a new Fusion Fall Legacy, saying that, oh, uh, the other people trying to be Fusion Fall Legacy are posers. We are the real deal. We are actually making content. And their website even looked even more promising. So I was like, all right, chill. So I, I, I wasn't trying to get my hopes up because... I mean, after my experience with the last two minutes, uh, I mean, the last two websites, you know, uh, with them closing, it was pretty much like, oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I doubt this will stay open. But they did. They did. They kept their word. They stayed up really long. And then they announced that the demo was coming out. And I was so excited. I couldn't wait to play the, the, my long, nostalgic game. And now, here's why I really liked Fusion Fall. All, like... Let me just get this straight. I hate Cartoon Network right now. Uh, I don't like the way they're they're doing things. I don't like... I think Clarence is alright, but I don't like... I think Gumball and Adventure Time's alright, too. I think Adventure Time's lost its uh, touch, but... I think Adventure Time's good in a regular show, but... Every other show, you know... I mean, Ninjago was cool, too, but... <laughs> every other show that's, you know... Uh, let me think of some. Uh, I know they're making a remake of Powerpuff Girls. That should be cool, but I, I can't expect it because i'm not sure who's making it so i didn't really catch up on that so there are shows like oh man i gotta search some up hold on a sec all right so new 
upcoming CN shows. Alright. Oh, yeah, there's Sonic Boom. That's a pretty good show, too. But then there's, like, Garage Band or something like that. That show's pretty retarded. Uh, we Bear Bears is a good one, too. I mean, they've, they've got a few good channels, but I don't. I just don't like the way they're going. Uh, I just don't. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, uh, ooh, hold on a sec. So, basically, uh, I've pretty much, you know, um... I was so excited for this demo to come out. I, you know, I was jumping off walls, drinking like six soda cans a day. If I didn't brush my teeth every day, my teeth would probably be fucking rotten right now. So, um, so then they, uh, they, uh, made a YouTube video about how they were canceling the demo and then doing Fusion Fall Retro. I was super upset, and I know I wasn't the only one feeling that. There were a lot of people who were upset that they were canceling the demo and doing retro. And here's why. Here's why. First off, retro is... If you guys don't know what retro is yet, uh, you didn't catch up. Uh, Fusion Fall Legacy's create, uh, canceling the demo and making a full game back in 2010, which means the future... But then again, they were using old Unity, so there are going to be a lot of crashes. Now, here's why people were upset with this. Fusion Fall Legacy, like, Fusion Fall Legacy demo that month, it was supposed to be released by the end of the month, so people were super excited, they thought, oh, in the next two weeks, you know, Fusion Fall Retro, uh, not, not Fusion Fall Retro, Fusion Fall Legacy demo is gonna be coming out, and then, you know, I, like, they, then they just come out with, oh, you know, we're coming out with Retro in the next four months, and it's like, oh, we have to wait even longer, really? You know, it just reminds me of rewritten, like, when they were in closed alpha for, like, forever, and now they're in open beta, and they've been in open beta for god knows how long, and who knows when they're gonna add doodles. That's another thing I'm pissed off about, but that's a whole nother topic. I probably might make a rant about that, but who knows. And wow, this video is a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> 13 minutes and 20 seconds going on right now, so. Okay, let's get to the point. So now that Fusion Fall Retro is out, I plan, like updates i plan to do fusion fall legacy videos once fusion fall legacy comes out which probably won't be until next year let's be honest people they announced it that they were it was going to come out january like sometime in early 2016 it's already february 16th going on march i doubt legacy will come out anytime soon i think retro will probably come out in the summer because they want a lot of people playing their game and if they want a lot of people playing their game they got to release it in the summer it only makes logical sense so, I, so, predictions, I doubt it'll come out anytime soon. It's getting me pretty pissed off, but whatever. It's just good that they're trying to get the game back, you know, and it'd be a lot of fun. I could just see it being a lot of fun. So, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys my story with Fusion Fall, you know. And, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned-tastic. You know, I should come up with a different intro now that I'm doing Fusion Fall videos. So, I'll just say bye, guys. <laughs>